Okay, another late night video. Just to answer the issue from the Rhino clamps meeting the tip. So what happened, just so you want to know a little bit of history, is that we had our original tip, we made our Rhino clamps, and we used to glue our tips in and we stopped gluing them and we used the Rhino clamp. And for those of you that use rotational torque as part of the way that you clean the windows, then you're experiencing a little bit of slipping. The slipping's not okay, I accept that. And there are three ways to fix it. Um, which you can talk to Mark Strange who can put a screw through um, the lever into the tip in which case we would replace the number one uh, clamp and the tip in the future. If you talk to Craig Cappen in the UK he's got a little uh, a little bolt that you can screw in um, right underneath the lug and that'll also stop the spinning and if you talk to John Lee in uh, Nashville Tennessee he has worked out that you can use gaffer tape or duct tape and just put it around and create an extra thickness and then the clamp will hold it. And that's probably the most accurate and the easiest way to fix the existing tip just for the next three weeks while we bring out the new tip. So I just want to show you what we've done uh, onto, the, onto the reach-it poles and why we didn't glue in the tip. So a lot of people say, why did we not glue it in? This is why. So let me just take this off here, the brush and the whack adapter. And we'll show you, this is a 3D print, and we'll just show you nice and close. You can see here that there's an indent here for the number one clamp. And you can see here that the arrow lock is working onto the tip. And then if I just come away for a second, and you can see, if I just pull it out, you can see here that we've made this lug. It's twice as wide, and it comes up. Now, if you can see closely, you can see there's a little lip there where this is thicker here, inside the grip zone of the top of the clamp. And the reason for that is the same effect as putting the gaffer tape around. We've increased the thickness so that the friction from the clamp will grip. When that goes in, we have the arrow lock creating a mechanical lock. We have the lug creating a mechanical lock. We close off and we have ourselves a very, very strong tip. But one more thing. If I take that out altogether, what you'll find is that we've actually put an aluminium tube through the inside of it so that it's actually in the mold, it's not added afterwards. Because a lot of people have gone towards the Aquadapter, the Aquatap, and, and so this creates um, extra pressure on this piece of plastic, you know, where you've got like extensions up here and then, and then you're putting more leverage on this point here. So what we've done, we've left it for internal tubing, you can push your tube through here and you can actually um, safely use Rhino clamps through to, the right, through to the tip, through to whatever adapters you want to go on top and we can guarantee you that this little baby will never slip or break. Okay, Perry Tate from futureofcleaning.com. Have a look at the Rhino clamps at rhinoclamps.com which is rhino-clamps.com. They're a beautiful clamp and a, um, the problem will be solved inside of uh, three, three and a half weeks.